this week it in indoor football we have a lot of stuff to go over and i gotta tell you things got a bit interesting this weekend let me tell you something um that green bay massachusetts game was just off the wall it was rough for the first maybe like 55 minutes or so but it got better it got better at the very end it got better at the very end of it and you know I mean the blizzard blizzard got it done they got it done you know despite not having really an offense they like they had zero yards for the longest time I believe crazy stuff crazy stuff right there but Green Bay, they do get their first win of the season. They have another home game this weekend, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Arizona's also opening up, you know, at 100% capacity. We know Frisco is also doing 100% capacity. Not that I really agree with that right now, but it's happening. 100% capacity. Both those teams, I'm not sure about any other teams right now in the IFL, but we got two games this weekend, um, one of them is going to be on Friday, May the 7th, and obviously, like I said, Louisville, you know, the extreme, they're 0-1, they're taking on the Green Bay Blizzard, and on the 8th, the Pirates will take on the Bucks. so, the 8th is my birthday, so, Congrats, Bismarck. You're hosting a game on my birthday. Good job. Good stuff right there. Um, there, there. There's really not a lot to go over here. I mean, I have no idea where Sean Brackett is. I believe he got injured last week. And thus, you know, they had to turn to somebody else. And I forgot who that was this week, but, you know. I'm not sure because I mean Brack was on the sidelines for the Massachusetts Green Bay game this week last weekend, so uh, I have no idea what's going on out there in Worcester. But they're going up to Bismarck this weekend, so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun, you know. I would go all the way from Green Bay to Bismarck, you know, in about a week, less than a week actually. So the Green Bay Louisville game will kick off at seven. On on Friday and on the eighth, it'll be at eight o'clock. The Massachusetts Bismarck game. So there you go with that. Um, let's talk about CIF real quick. Um, so the Wichita, the ele- the elephant in the room, finally got addressed. Uh, it got addressed on a inside the CIF report on the CIF's YouTube page. And you know Wichita, they didn't they didn't have. They didn't have goalposts for their first game, but now they do. You know, now they have goalposts. They still have that weird, you know, weird little scoreboard thing, projector scoreboard in the um, in one of the end zones. But they do have goalposts now, at least. Um, <laughs> also, what has been confirmed, we know now. Like, like I said, I believe I I'm not sure when this was announced. You know. You know, when it first got leaked, but we knew there was going to be a Billings team coming. We knew there was going to be Rapid City, and there's also potential talk for a Denver team in the CIF, so that means CIF will grow from six, well, technically eight or nine teams to 12, but they had six. They have six this season, and obviously, two other teams are competing on their own. They're doing their own thing, you know. But they're grow- but the CIF is growing back to where it was back around like 2016, 2017, you know, those levels of, you know, growth again in the game. And they're, and they're in a nice geographical area too. You know, concentrated on the upper Midwest. Yeah, there's a couple teams, Texas, that, you know, that are there. Yeah, there's a team in Oklahoma that needs to get its workers' comp sorted out. But hey, you know. Expanding the Wyoming and, and South Dakota and, and Colorado, you know, is going to be really, really interesting. Or rather, Montana. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, I believe it's Montana that Billings is in Billings, Montana. So, now that's going to be very interesting to see, you know, what in the world goes on there. Of course, CIF, you know, 
could have teams fold, you know, in the middle of the season, like it, like in 2019 with the Texas Revolution, or you know something weird could happen to where that growth from six to 12 teams gets stalled. But we do know at least there's going to be 10 teams, potentially up to 12. We'll see what in the world happens, you know, with the whole Rapid City Denver developments. As far as the AAL goes, because there's nothing really to talk about in the NAL right now. Still, even though we're in May, um, AAL, you know, the Dallas Prime <laughs> gave St. Louis a fight. And Bandits actually, you know, they have some, they have some pretty good stuff. They have some pretty good stuff, you know, going on. You know, they have a nice little broadcast. The Bandits do still need to pay their players though, and you can't. You, like that, like the Dallas Prime is like one of those teams that you just cannot even fathom having to you know lose a almost lose a game to. You can't even fathom that. Oh, doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense right there. And I have no idea who's in this league now. Um, apparently, either the West Texas Buccaneers or the San Antonio Gunslingers are out of the AAL. I'm not sure. Where this rumor started, I'm not sure at all what's going on because West Texas hasn't played in, a, I believe it's been a few weeks. They've had a game canceled, and I don't believe they played in a while, if I'm not mistaken. But I believe West Texas or the San Antonio Gunslingers may be out league. I'm not sure. I know somebody said it somewhere. I'm not sure where, but that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm not sure. Again, I'm just not sure of what's truth and what's not truth because, um, like, the West Texas Buccaneers aren't saying anything. And I have no idea what the San Antonio Gunslingers are doing, so who knows what's happening. Like, the last post for the Buccaneers was on the 24th of April, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, at least on Facebook, that's what I saw. So I have no idea what's going on there. So, you know, there's also some CIF games this week, of course, but I don't really care about those games. I mean, it's really just a two-team race. It's Sioux City and, and Salina right now in the CIF, so nothing really to talk about there. Uh, the AAL, still the same thing. You know, still like a two- to three-team race, I believe. You know, Charlotte, West Michigan, and one of those Texas teams, I'm not sure which one might be North Texas, you know that are in the running for an AAL championship ring. So, not sure what's going on. There was also some COVID issues in the AAL as well. A couple of games I know got canceled. So, I'm not sure if they're going to be made up or not. They're probably not. Oh, well. It is what it is there. And I believe those are some of the first COVID casualty games of the season. You know, COVID, it's not over. It's not going to be over. It's not going to be pretty. You know, to get out of this, but we're, we're 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 making it, we're making it happen, and stuff like that. So, um, but again, yeah, big stuff this week. Got a got a couple of big IFL games this week before the regular season really gets going. Everybody coming back in, in um, um, the week of the um, the 14th through the 16th of May when people are with when, when the games are finally. You know, there's finally more than just two, one or two games in the IFL, you know. Um, CIF expansion, that's a thing. It's happening once again, and that's going to be interesting to see how that goes. The AAL is the AAL, and the NAL, I have no idea. I really don't. I believe the America West Football Conference is also supposed to start this week, and I'm not sure. I'm not paying attention to that either, and I know there's some other, you know, various indoor leagues that don't really need my attention, that don't deserve my attention, you know, like the UAL, which has um, Peach State, like, playing in, like, a indoor arena, I use quotations on that, because it looks like it's a half indoor, half outdoor type thing, it looks weird, you know, but whatever, it's whatever at this point, so yeah, that'll pretty much do it, um, we'll see you guys next week, um, join the IFL Discord, go to our IFL. Um, also support me on Ko-Fi. I have a new Ko-Fi link in my channel. Um, I believe it's like in the About section or something like that. So go support me there on Ko-Fi and all the other platforms that I'm going to be using. See you later.